Hi everyone, in the previous video I talked about the basics of Vivaldi. In this video I'm going to show you the measurement process using a network analyzer. Doing any measurement in network analyzer requires the calibration process to be done first. So I'll be talking about the calibration process first and then after measuring the antenna I will show you how to transfer the measurement data to external USB drive. This is the network analyzer that I'm going to use for measurement. It has four ports. You can see one, two, three, and four. I'll be mostly using the port one. So this is the coaxial cable for measurement purpose, and this is a calibration kit. In short, we call it CalKit. It has three terminals, S, L, and O. S for short, L for load, and O for open. So let's have a quick glance of calibration process. This is the port 1 of network analyzer and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect the port 1 with these three terminals of the CalKit one by one and calibrate the port 1. Each time you want to use any port of the network analyzer you have to calibrate that port using this device. So this is the principle. You might be using a different network analyzer, but the principle remains same. Alright, I connected the port 1 of network analyzer to the L terminal of the calibration kit, and then you have to press this button, CAL, CAL stands for calibration. Our calibration kit has a device model number, and you have to make sure you select the appropriate model number, right? So this is my device model number. Okay. Now, okay, calibrate and since the port 1 was connected to the L terminal of the calibration kit press one port cal and notice the device model number of the calibration kit is at the top and the port number is below which is one in our case after that there are three options since the port 1 is connected to the load terminal select load and a check mark appears that means we are done with the load calibration okay now we will do the same procedure for the rest of the two now at this time the old terminal the open terminal is connected to port 1 now repeat the same procedure so check marks again this time the short terminal Simply, we have to select the short here. Okay, so we are done with the calibration process. That's it. All right, so we are ready for the measurement process since calibration has been done. Basically, this Vivaldi was designed to operate within the UWB spectrum. And UWB spectrum extends from 3 to 10.6 gigahertz. But I don't need the entire spectrum, so what I need is from 3 to 5 gigahertz, so which is also known as the lower UWB spectrum. What I'm going to measure is the written loss of Vivaldi antenna, and it is defined by this equation. In practice, a good system or a good antenna should have less than minus 10 dB written loss within the operating bandwidth. All right. Now, basically, this antenna is a part of UWB radar system, and what it does, the UWB pulse transmitter generates UWB pulse, and the Vivaldi converts this electrical signal into electromagnetic wave that propagates in free space and detects the target object. Okay, so let's do the measurement of Vivaldi and check whether the written loss is adequate within this 3 to 5 gigahertz of bandwidth. 
As you can see, the port 1 is connected to Vival DSMA connector and already calibration has been done. So what I'm going to see is the S11 magnitude of this Vival antenna. So I have already defined three points, marker 1, 2 and 3. In marker 1 I have defined 3 GHz and in marker 2 4 GHz and in 3 5 GHz. So I'm going to look for the S11 magnitude value in dB in these three points. 1 to 3 points. These are the 3, 4 and 5 GHz points. Alright? You can see it is less than 10 dB in all three cases. Right? And if you notice the minus 10 dB line, you can see the available bandwidth is more than the required one. Usually for UWB systems, apart from measuring the impedance bandwidth, we also measure the group delay of the UWB antenna. Because we want to ensure the phase linearity of the antenna so that it doesn't distort the UWB pulse. In another experiment, I placed two identical Vivald antennas far apart from one another and measured the group delay. The result was satisfactory. It's very important during the design of VWB radar to ensure this constant group delay so that the transmission is distortionless. Now let's see how to save this measurement data into an external USB drive. A network analyzer has some USB ports. This is the back panel of the network analyzer and I'm going to insert my USB drive into this port. Notice the numbers written beside these ports. So I'm inserting into port 1. Alright, now let's go back to the front panel. So press this save recall button. We're going to save in SNP file format. So depending upon the number of ports to be used, you have to select the proper format of its NP file. In my case, I'm using the port one, so I will select S1P file format. So here is my drive, G drive, which is the USB drive that I just inserted. And just, that's it. Safe. Later on, you can plot this SNP file format using MATLAB. Agilent ADS or HFSS or CST in your PC. Okay, so thank you for watching.